And sometimes people don't realize that all they need to do is sit with the Lord, you know, in prayer yes. the and listen. Yes. Yeah. And you know that you don't need anything else but that, you know, yeah. like Mary, you know, Mary, the, the sister of Lazarus, the sister of Martha, she was in front of Jesus and she did not even pay attention to what was needed in the house because she was totally immersed in the eyes of Jesus, you know. That is an experience that everyone can do, uh, but uh, but we don't do uh, because many times we, we get ourselves busy in other in other things, and we we forget what is really essential, right? Yeah. So then uh, that was the novitiate. So at the end of the novitiate, that was September 8, uh, 1995. I got my vows. At the beginning, you take your temporary vows. So you renew them mm -hmm. every year. And then after six years, I, I had the chance to pronounce my solemn vows, which are the perpetual vows. Wow. That took six years. Yeah. Well, the rule in the religious congregation is um, that you can have your perpetual vows after a minimum of three years of temporary vows up to the maximum of nine. Hmm. After you renew for nine times, then you have to choose if you want to still be a religious or you, or you want to wanna go home. Uh, but usually, you know, the sixth years is considered the, the normal, you know, for everybody, the normality. Hmm. And so I, uh, it was the year 2001. And, you know, that, that is something special, I have to say, because the perpetual vows are those vows where you need to prostrate yourself, mm -hmm. you know? So we were, the three of us, you know, I, I was with my two classmates, Claudio, Father Claudio now, and Father Alessandro. And so we were in Messina there, and uh, we, we were prostrating there, you know, in front of the altar, while everybody was singing the litany before pronouncing the, the perpetual vows. And somebody told me, Somebody had told me before <laughs> that, you know, in those moments, you can ask anything you want to the Lord, and He will grant that to you. I had that chance for three times to prostrate myself, because it, it, it's the time that you are giving something to the Lord, you know? So it's the yeah. moment that the Lord gives to you. It's like Solomon, no? Solomon, in the moment that he starts being a king, and he doesn't ask for the for the death of his enemy or for richness or for a long life. He's only asking for wisdom. And then God answers and he grants for him everything, you know? Wisdom and all that he didn't ask. So it's it's a moment like that. Yeah. So I had three times that chance. One was for the perpetual vows. And I'm gonna say what I asked for. <laughs> And then, for of course, when I became a deacon in 2003, and then when I became a priest. Mm -hmm. So in those three occasions, you prostrate yourself you know, for a consecration. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the first time, I was thinking, I was already there prostrated. I didn't know what to ask. <laughs> and then I thought, uh, okay, I'm going to, th this is going to be forever, you know, Be because we, we are not forced yeah. To, to to stay consecrated, you know. Even if you have perpetual vows, you can still ask, you know, to stop it, you know. There, there are who do. So so it's it's really out of your free will, free mm -hmm. choice. Yeah. It's continuously that way, you know. You, you can really leave and get married, you know, when you have those vows. So those people who are religious and they stay religious is because they want. Mm -hmm. you know, for a lifetime. So I decided this is going to be forever, so I asked for uh, uh, perseverance. I asked the gift of perseverance. Wow. And I have to say that until then, I never had a big test about that, you know. I never had the temptation to leave. Not really, I mean. 
but then it happened that I pronounced the perpetual vows and I asked uh, that grace of perseverance. And then after a few months, I had the biggest test in my life about that. So I realized, looking back, I realized that actually it was not me asking for a grace, but it was the Lord inspiring me what I most needed. Mm. Because of what, what was about to happen.